What is going on guys? It is Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to connect your Xbox controller to your Windows PC. The Xbox controller has to be one of the easiest and most reliable controllers we can connect to our PC, and there are three main ways we can get it connected. The first is using a USB-C cable, the second is using Bluetooth, and the final method is using the Xbox wireless connection dongle. I will have chapters down below, so feel free to skip to your method of choice. Now a couple of things to keep in mind before we get into the tutorial. First, this tutorial is only going to show you how to connect the newer Xbox Series X slash S controllers to your PC, so this will not work for older Xbox One or Xbox 360 controllers. You can tell which kind of controller you have based on the Xbox button. If the button is flush or on the same level as the other buttons, then it's a newer Series X or S controller. If it is recessed or lower than all the other buttons, then it is an Xbox One controller, and this tutorial will not work for you. Also make sure your PC is up to date. I will be using Windows Windows 11 for this tutorial, although the process is very similar for Windows 10, so you should still be able to follow along. Regardless of what version you're using, make sure Windows and your drivers are up to date. Lastly, make sure your Xbox console is powered off during this process, as the controller will automatically reach out and connect to it instead of your PC. Alright, without further ado, let's get started with the easiest method, and that is using a USB-C cable. This method will get you the most reliable connection, and it also allows you to use the headphone jack port for audio in or or out. Now the main downside of this method is that you will have a USB cable in your way while you're gaming. You are also limited to how many controllers you can connect based on how many USB ports you have. So to get started, go ahead and grab a USB cable. This can be a C to C cable or an A to C, it doesn't really matter. You're going to go ahead and plug one end into your PC and the other end into your controller and right away you should see the Xbox logo light up, meaning your controller has connected. And from here you can use it in any game that has controller support. To reconnect your controller back to your Xbox, all you have to do is just unplug the cable from your PC and the controller should automatically go into pairing mode and reconnect with your console. Alright, moving on to the method I personally use and that is connecting via Bluetooth. The initial setup is a little more complicated, but once you have the controller paired, reconnecting it is super easy. And the best part is you don't have to deal with a cable hanging off your controller the entire time. Now while Bluetooth usually has little to no issues, people do report that connecting your controller this way can lead to poor game performance. A lot of people claim that they get frame drops and stuttering when gaming using an Xbox controller connected via Bluetooth. Now these Series X slash S controllers are using newer Bluetooth technology and I personally haven't had any issues using this method, but it is something to keep in mind. Okay, so to connect your controller, first make sure your Xbox is powered off. Then on your PC, go to your Bluetooth settings and make sure that Bluetooth is turned on. If you don't see a Bluetooth option, then your PC is either missing drivers and you'll need to update it or it doesn't have Bluetooth built in. So you either need to update your computer to fix the drivers or you'll need to purchase a Bluetooth dongle like I have right here if your computer doesn't have it built in. These go for around 15-20 bucks and uh, they basically instantly give your computer the ability to connect to Bluetooth devices. Once Bluetooth is on, you're going to put your controller into pairing mode by pressing the back pairing button until the Xbox logo starts flashing. You should now see a pop-up on your PC letting you know that there is a controller nearby ready to pair. Just click connect and the controller should now be paired to your PC. If you didn't get this pop-up, you can also go to your Bluetooth settings, click add device, and then select the first option that says Bluetooth. Select the device that says Xbox wireless controller, and after a few seconds that Xbox logo should turn solid white and your controller will now be paired to your PC. Now if you just use your controller with your PC you can leave it paired and whenever you go to power on the controller it will automatically connect to your PC without having to repair it again. Now if you want to reconnect the controller to your Xbox you will first have to unpair it from your PC by going to Bluetooth settings and then clicking forget device. Then you're going to put your controller back into pairing mode like we did before and on your Xbox controller you're going to press its pairing button. After a few seconds of flashing both the console and the controller Xbox logos will go solid white and the controller will now be connected. To reconnect the controller back to your PC, you will have to go through the pairing process over again. This is the main downside of the Bluetooth method because if you use your controller with your PC and your Xbox, you will be doing a lot of pairing back and forth. Okay, finally we have the Xbox wireless connection dongle method of connecting. Now I am going to be very limited in what I can show of this method because Xbox no longer carries the wireless connection dongle. In case you don't know what that is, the Xbox 
connection dongle is another way to connect your controller wirelessly. Now, why would you pay for a dongle when you could just connect via Bluetooth for free? Well, the connection dongle makes it easier to pair your controller. It also gives a more reliable low latency connection that doesn't have the same side effects of poor performance like the Bluetooth method. And you can also connect up to eight controllers using the dongle. So all this sounds great, but uh, as I mentioned earlier, Xbox no longer carries it. With the Bluetooth connection technology in the new controllers being way better than the Xbox One controller, uh, Microsoft probably didn't see the need for a dongle like this anymore. However, that's just a theory. Xbox's listing for the dongle on their website doesn't go anywhere anymore, and if you go to any of the authorized retailers to buy one online, it is no longer listed. The only way to get one of these dongles is through third-party sellers on Amazon or eBay. So to connect your controller, first plug the dongle into your PC and press the pairing button. Go ahead and press the pairing button on your controller as well, and it should automatically detect the dongle and connect to it. As long as the dongle is plugged into your PC, the controller will automatically connect to it. To repair the controller to your console, just unplug the dongle from your PC, and the controller should automatically reconnect to your Xbox. If not, then just go through the regular pairing process to get it connected again. Beyond that, though, that pretty much does it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, be sure to leave those in the comments down below, and I'll try to help you out through any issues you had. If you really enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to leave a like down below. Beyond that, though, I've been Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide, and be sure to have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.